really quick but very good stimulus update for you today. Before I get to that news, I just want to let you know that the United States House of Representatives is slated to vote on the $1.9 trillion stimulus bill tonight. As of 3.30 p.m., the recording of this video, they have not yet done it, but it is on the docket. They will vote on it tonight and very, very likely to pass it. So look forward to the video tomorrow where I share all that good information for you and the timeline of it going to the Senate and finally getting done and more stimulus checks to the American people. So what's the really good news? It's this. Yesterday, the Senate parliamentarian Elizabeth McDonough decided that the $15 minimum wage did not meet the criteria of reconciliation and will not be included in the Senate bill. I bet you I am one of only a few amount of people out there that are reporting this as good news. Probably most people will be neutral about it and just report it as news or they'll be upset with it and say, how dare the parliamentarian shame on her for doing that $15 minimum wage should be in there. But I think it's a good thing. And here's two really important reasons why. Number one, the $15 minimum wage does not meet the standard of a reconciliation bill. There is a clear standard that anything included in a reconciliation bill must have a direct impact on the budget. Meaning, if the government says we need to spend $2 trillion this year on particular things, if you're going to put together a reconciliation bill, it must have monetary value to it, meaning it's spending that the government is doing. A $15 minimum wage increase has nothing to do with direct spending by the government. Could it indirectly affect it? Yes, but not directly, and therefore it violates the rules, and it should not not rightfully be included in a reconciliation bill. And it would be a terrible precedent to set up because if you like it when the Democrats do it, you're not going to like it when the Republicans do it. So guess what? No one should do it because we shouldn't be breaking the rules. In addition, we already knew if the $15 minimum wage was included in the Senate bill, this was not going to pass the Senate. Kirsten Sinema and Joe Manchin already said that they would not vote for a bill if it included the $15 minimum wage. So now not only did we get something out that was breaking the rules, but we got something out that was going to stop this bill from passing in the Senate. We are now looking at a 90, 95% plus chance that this thing is going to pass the Senate. A few other minor changes need to happen here or there. They might target the stimulus just a little bit more. Don't worry about it. It's probably not going to affect you. If they target it anymore, it's only going to affect the highest earners. So here's some quotes on what everyone is saying about this issue in the news. This from the White House press secretary, President Biden is disappointed in this outcome as he proposed having a $15 minimum wage as a part of the American Rescue Plan. He respects the parliamentarian's decision and the Senate's process. Of course, she needs to come out and say he's disappointed with this because you have to seem like you're sympathetic and empathetic to those individuals, even though this is a really, honestly, it's a bad economic decision. I do think the minimum wage should be increased over a period of time, but a $15 increase with the diversity of states we have, it's actually a terrible idea and a rule breaker. But he does need to come out and say this. So that's what they said. President Biden says he's disappointed. Okay. Also, Speaker Pelosi says House Democrats believe that the minimum wage hike is necessary. Therefore, the provision will remain in the bill. What? I thought it was going to be taken out. This is what she means. It's going to remain in the House bill. So the bill that the House votes on tonight, the $15 minimum wage will be in there, but the Senate bill, it won't be. And remember what I told you before, whatever bill the Senate votes on and passes will go to the House. So the House is actually going to vote on a second bill, and that one won't include the $15 minimum wage, but the one tonight will. So it's a way to skirt around the fact that eventually they're going to vote on a bill that doesn't include the $15 minimum wage. This from the Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. He said, we are deeply disappointed in this decision. We are not going to give up the fight to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour to help the millions of struggling American workers and their families. The American people deserve it, and we are committed to making it a reality. Do you know what is the real reality of what Chuck Schumer is thinking? Phew, he doesn't have to deal with it. He already knew that this thing was a big problem. The fact that the parliamentarian got rid of it for Chuck Schumer is a big weight off of his shoulder. If he could tell you the real thing, he would tell you. If he was sitting down at dinner with you and you're having a nice lasagna or something, you say, Chuck, what do you really think about this? He would go, 
Thank God, because boy, oh boy, it would have been bad if this thing didn't pass the Senate because that was included in there. But the parliamentarian got rid of it for me, so I don't got to deal with it. But I'm going to tell the American people that I'm really upset with the decision, and we're going to continue to fight for them. This is what politicians do, but here you're going to get the real story. So what's the deal? This is great for the stimulus package. It's actually going to help it pass through, which means you are so much more likely now to get a stimulus check. If you're on unemployment, you are much more likely to get unemployment help. If you're a small business, you're going to get small business help. And by the way, if you're the leader of one of the states or local governments, $350 billion is going out to you. But you include that $15 minimum wage, not only are you going to hurt 1.4 million Americans who economists on both sides of the aisle say that this would actually eliminate 1.4 million jobs because essentially that's what would happen. Democrats and Republicans and agree it would break the rules and this bill would not pass. Thank goodness the parliamentarian looked at the rules of the reconciliation bill and decided to take this thing out, which never fit in there in the first place. I know tonight the House is gonna vote on the bill and they will pass it. I, I'm not technically allowed to tell you that because I'm telling you something that didn't already happen, but it's gonna happen. The video tomorrow is definitely gonna say the House passes the $1.9 trillion stimulus package. We already know it's gonna go through. So we're getting much closer now. We are weeks away. The Senate's gonna get this bill next week. They're gonna discuss it and change a few things over. And then they're probably gonna pass it at the end of next week or the beginning of the week after that. And Joe Biden's gonna sign this thing probably sometime between March 8th and March 14th or so. And then stimulus checks are gonna go out in a couple of weeks after that. We're gonna pinpoint the dates for you. Thank Thank you for coming along with me. I hope you guys appreciate the information. As always, I will catch you next time.